Daniel Parker. Mm -hmm. What's uh, what's maybe the, the, the thing that really stands out to you about him, and how different is he from some of the other guys in that room right now? Uh, I've been blessed to play with a lot of great, you know, tight ends. Jay Hall being one of them for a couple of years, mm -hmm. and uh, I think our connection is just as good as. Jay Hawes. Um, I think since day one, I've known the kid for a couple months now, and I think uh, it felt like I've known him for five years. We have a good chemistry, and uh, we work really well together. But the biggest thing I said that he brings to the uh, table is physicality, and I love that about him because you know I, I try to pride myself on physicality as well. And uh, I think we're going to be a good combo. So uh, just him bringing that tone and that energy, it always helps our room get ready to go. You mentioned Jeremiah, you know as much as anyone the work that he puts in. To see him go through this process with the, the NFL, just what's that been like? Uh, it's been, it's, it's crazy, you know, from, you know, me transitioning into the H-back room to, uh, you know, playing with him and now seeing him go to the next level, it, it's it's crazy and it's unbelievable. I'm so happy for him. Uh, we worked for this, we prayed for this, so I am so happy for him, so proud for him, and I can't see, I can't wait to see what he does at the next level. You probably more than anybody have been outspoken as far as outlook for the future of the program, outlook for everything just on Twitter and stuff. What is it about the culture right now that it just seems like there's so much positivity right now? Yeah, it's, it's great, man. This new coaching staff, they have laid the groundwork for uh, us to be successful, you know, and uh, it's just when you get a, a bunch of guys that are strong in their faith, like our coaching staff is, and uh, you know, really cares about the, the players and uh, feeds the mind instead of the athlete, you know, I, I think that that's a great combination for a winning team and not only just to be a winning team, but to make great men, you know, for our society. So I think that's why there's a lot of positive buzz. And then also the, all the football things that come along with it. A lot of our coaches have played, you know, past uh, college football and, uh, you know, and a lot of our coaches are decorated, so it's just a lot of buzz right now, and it's, it's very exciting. You know, I'm excited myself. I've uh, this is I've been in you know college a couple of years now, and I, this is the most excited I've been going into a season. So I can't wait to see what the season brings. Brandon, when you came here, you knew what tight end usage was like under Lincoln. What's it been like getting adjusted to how the uses the tight end usage is under Levy, and were there any concerns when he first got the job, or how did you kind of? look ahead to see what Levy's doing in his usage of tight ends? Uh, not really. Um, you know, I, I took a little bit of time to see to see where I wanted to be at. And then during that time, I was doing research myself. I saw what he did at past places, and there was never really a concern to me about that. And uh, I like how I'm being used, but at the end of the day, football's football. You know, you could change terminologies and stuff, but at the end of the day, it's all the same. But I do like the... Uh, just the chemistry that we have going amongst the quarterback and the line and the, and the receivers and everything like that. So I uh, I like the way I'm using, you know, not to get too much into too many details, but well, could you get into that just a little bit? What the tight end and the H back does in this offense? Uh, we like to stretch the field. We do some of the same things that we did in the last yeah. offense. You know, we block. We're in line, wing. You know, split out. Just you know, typical stuff and. Uh, uh, we're stretching the field, you know, we get out and run, and uh, it's it's been fun, you know. I, you know. The biggest thing for me coming back was being able to show off, you know, some of my route running and being able to stretch the field a little bit and get some yards after the catch, and I feel like I'm able to do that, and I'm uh, extremely excited for it. You'd have to be happy with your skill set. You can run, so if that's, if that's going to give you a chance to get an open field, it sounds like. No doubt, and then also at the same time, um, I've always known I can run, but like I said, I pride myself on being able to block and be physical at the point of attack, and you still get to do that in this offense, so it's uh, it's been nice, you know. Brandon, it felt like you approached last season as it would be your last, so was there a moment that it hit home that you wanted to stay, or can you just sort of take us through that process? Uh, not really approaching it like it's my last season but more so just you know just being open to whatever comes like if I had the opportunity I would take it if not then I was never opposed to you know coming back I never wanted to leave like you know whenever there was the switch I had no interest in transferring it was either I was gonna you know go on to the next level or I was gonna stay at Oklahoma so um yeah I, I just this is a special place I love it here and I just wanted to be here with my team and 
and getting to know the coaching staff, being basically re-recruited by them. You know, I tell this all the time when I talk to recruits. I was recruited a second time, so I could tell you everything that they're telling you is true, and I've seen it, and I've got to experience it, and I'm so glad I came back. It's been a blessing for me. How much different is the, uh, and how much of an adjustment is the tempo uh, that y'all are playing with offensively right now? Uh, yeah, it's it, it's a big it's a big adjustment. Uh, running a lot more, I'm losing a lot of weight, trying to maintain weight. That's where I just came from. Just came from eating, trying to maintain that weight. But it's it's been an adjustment. It's a lot more uh, upbeat, up tempo, and uh, it's gonna be it's. You never really notice what type of tempo you're playing with until you play with another type of tempo. But I've really enjoyed playing at this tempo. You know, I think it's going to be a great weapon for us. Coach Finn, we talked to Coach Finley a little bit ago, and he talked about how big you've been through spring practices, just leading the, you know, the other guys in that each back room. Just how much of an emphasis was that for you coming into spring practices to be a leader for that group? Big, and you know, not only for my group but for the team. You know, I, I know if I, I knew if I came back, I was gonna have to be a leader, an old guy, and uh, so I, I take pride in that role. And then in terms of you know my position group, we got guys that have extreme talent that are you know, going to be great players here at the University of Oklahoma in uh, Caden and Jason. And so my job is to take all the little things that I've learned over the years, all the tips and tricks and, you know, just things that comes with playing over the years and pass it on to those guys so that when they get in that role and very soon that they'll be able to do it, no doubts about it, and they'll relish at it. They're going to be great players, though. Well, and even just with Coach Finley, how how has your relationship, you know, evolved, you know, with him? Well, yeah, our our relationship. I thought, you know, our relationship has always been strong. It's definitely gotten stronger since you know everything that has happened, and I built a really strong and special connection with Coach Finley, and that also was a big <clears throat> part of why I came back. You know, uh, knowing that my coach Coach Finley was going to be the same, my coach is going to be the same, and uh, I have extreme trust in him. And I know he's going to tell me right. He wouldn't do anything. He wouldn't tell me to do anything that he wouldn't do himself. And uh, just he's helped me so much as far as uh, technique and, you know, just some of the little things. He's played the position at, you know, my level and at or this level and at the next level. So he's helped me a lot in terms of just little things that I need to work on. You mentioned Caden and Jason. Well, what's kind of been the most impressive thing you've seen from each of those guys as you started through winter and spring ball? Man, they, kind, they came in um, – not like typical freshmen. They they they're very attentive, man. They're they they pick up stuff really fast, if that makes sense. Uh, they're fast learners, man, and that's I think the best one of the best attributes you can have as a player. If you got older guys in your position room that you can soak up knowledge from, if it only takes you one time to get something, then it's easy to get other stuff. You know, all the physical stuff. Of course, they're gonna have. You know, both of them are taller than me. They're both gonna be bigger than me at some point. Um, they both can run, but I think the biggest thing mentally is being able to come in, be focused, and also pick up things really quickly, which is going to make them great players. If you been around a head coach in practice who's as intense and vocal as Coach B has been so far? No, <laughs> no, no. Quite frankly, no. But I, I love it. I mean, this is a game. This is a hard game. It's a game that you know starts to feel the same after a while if, after you get to practice in a little bit you know it's you know spring practice can be a grind and you need that type of energy to get you going every day and so uh that's been really a blessing because you know if the head coach brings it then who am i not to bring it as well you know so it, it gets all of us fired up juiced up and ready to go and it turns you know it turns into great practices and great work for us is there a sense among the players early on like all right He's just doing this the first couple of days. He can't keep it up, and sure enough, he's kept it up, and that's just kind of. I don't who he is. think so. I, I, I don't think so. I mean, you, you, we're talking about at this point. You know, we start spring ball. We're three months in, and uh, we've been with him and you know coaching stations and winter workouts for three months. And he was the same way through those three months. So I was like, I, <laughs> I have no doubts that it's going to continue. So, no, nah, I don't think so. I think. Uh, we all knew how it was going to be, and we try to match that every day, and uh, we love it, and we're thankful for it. Sort of along those lines, when did you first realize, hey, this guy's a little bit different? The first time I talked to him. <laughs> the first time I talked to him. I think everybody has the same story as 
I do. I mean, when you talk to the guy, man, he's just there's just something different about something special. And like I said, it kind of made my decision easy when I started talking to these the coaches and you know the head man. It made my decision real easy to come back. You know, I knew that I wanted to grow as a player and. Uh, I just wanted to see who they brought in and get to know him and get to know him on a personal basis. And yeah, right off the bat, I knew he was different. He would be able to pour into me and make me better in all aspects, not even just football, just a better man. I just want to switch gears and ask you, uh, Baker's getting his statue at spring, the spring game. Just your memories of Baker and your thoughts about you know the legacy he has here at Oklahoma. Yeah, so you know, I never got to play with Baker. I was uh, played with Kyler, but. Um, I was being recruited while, you know, Baker was playing, and, uh, man, I mean, that's, that's just a sooner legend, man. You know, when you talk about some of the great stuff came through here, you got to mention Baker. And I, I think it's so special that he's getting a statue, and I think it's so special that we're going to get to honor him while I'm still here, you know, with the statue. And uh, I'm just so excited to see it. I know he's going to be excited. I know he's, you know. There's a lot of uh, stuff going on with him, but I have no doubt that he's going to shake back and he's going to do well. And, uh, man, you know, I, I look forward to chopping it up with him. I've met him before, but I look forward to just chopping it up with him, picking his brain and seeing what he did to make their team so successful that I can implement to our team. So I can imagine it's it's somewhat daunting to, you know, you've been, a, been here for so long, you're a veteran player, but all of a sudden you got to learn a new offense. And everybody else has to as well, except for, you know, one guy, Dylan. Mm -hmm. Uh, what's it been like, you know, having obviously Coach Levy and then Dylan knowing the offense? And then, is there any examples of where having Dylan here knowing, already being familiar with the offense, has, has really helped you all come along a little bit quicker, maybe than you would otherwise? Mm -hmm. Well, first, I think it's a blessing for me, especially regardless of if I would have stayed or left. I was going to have to learn a new offense. So, um, you know, and then eventually I was going to have to learn a new offense if I would have left. You know, so. I was going to have to learn a new offense regardless, so it's been a blessing to be able to go through this process now again so that I'm used to it next year, you know. So, but <clears throat> and then it's just, like I said, the offense, offense, football really doesn't change. It's different terminology and everything, but it has been nice to have a quarterback that is well-versed in the offense and knows what he's doing, and uh, he's a great leader, man. I, I'm, I'm so excited to play with him, you know, and like, like I said, all the football stuff, stays the same but the biggest thing that i've noticed with dg is the type of leader he is man and how fun it is to play with him it, you just got a bunch of guys that just love playing with each other right now and I, i'm so excited for it you hear all these positive things about him right? everything is so positive about dylan can you imagine it going any other way like if he would have gone on campus and maybe didn't get with you guys so quickly or, or didn't take so much of a charge of it. Can you even imagine how it would have been other, otherwise? No, not at all. That's just the type of guy he is, man. You know, he just walks in the locker room and he daps everybody up the first day and, you know, is smiling and, you know, like, like I said, dapping people up, hugging them. And, you know, like he's been here for 10 years and I was like, okay, this is the guy, you know. So, yeah, I'm really excited to get on the field with him. And even throughout practices, it's been just – Really encouraging to see. So, thanks, man. Thank you.